Intertidal zonation. Explained. Do you remember seeing those barnacles and seaweeds at low tide? Did you ever wonder how they live when the water leaves? How they cope when the tide goes out? It's because these organisms are adapted to surviving in these certain areas within the tide. Intertidal zonation is when you get horizontal bands of different species created by tides and environmental stresses. As you may all know, tide goes up and down. In most places, twice a day, leaving many marine animals and plants exposed to the hot sun at low tide for a few hours every tidal cycle. The tide creates horizontal bands of species on the coast, which are based on how different kinds of stresses affect them. These zones are divided into three sections, high, mid, and low. When the water leaves, species living in the high intertidal zones need to be able to deal with stresses such as drying out. In the intertidal zone, there are two main types of stresses, physical and biological. Physical stress includes things like desiccation or exposure to air, while on the other hand, biological stresses are things like predation and competition between the different species. In the high tidal zones, physical factors like drying up are more of a problem than competition, whereas in the low tidal zones, predation is the main dilemma for most marine life. Suppose that you have three species, A, B, and C, each living in the three intertidal zones. Species A spends most of its time underwater, as it is a good competitor but cannot withstand being out of the water because it will dry out. On the contrary, species C can live in all three zones, but only lives in the upper intertidal zone because it cannot compete against A and B. But it specializes in keeping moisture in, which allows it to live in the high intertidal zone. Last but not least, species B occupies the mid zone because it can resist desiccation more than A, but is not as a good competitor. It cannot survive in the high intertidal zone because it cannot withstand being out of the water for long periods of time like species C. A good example of occupying different intertidal zones is the fight between two different species of barnacles. Chthalamus, which is good at keeping moisture in, can occupy all intertidal zones, but is a very small barnacle. The other species, Balanus, can outcompete it as it is a much bigger barnacle but cannot endure drying out. As we see, there is a clear divide in bands where these barnacles live on the coast. But if we were to remove the bigger barnacles from the area, we would see the smaller ones would move down as they are no longer outcompeted for space. But if instead we remove the small ones, we could not see the big ones overtake the area, as they can still not tolerate being dried out from the sun. Therefore, this creates intertidal zonation bands we see on the coast everywhere. Thank you for watching. Got a question? Leave them in the comments down below.